Good day everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the Chase with Loba and I am Loba. Please don't do this to me. I need you. You're my brother. I can't bear to see you like this. Hello, Jami Bata. Do you think I'm a toy? The episode of Wura is quite an interesting one as we see the Adelike struggle with what had happened to Lolo. Why for the for the cooties, they don't really have so much this episode. Like they were actually having a very wonderful life since Ia Boy is back to her senses and it's more of to me story and she um out to me is now finding our way back to the Meiji. So now let me just dive into the conversation of the Adele case because I think this was like the um, family or the people which we had so much concentration with this this set of episodes. So for this episode, it was supposed to be the marriage between Mandy and Lulu. And we all know how crazy Wura is. And I feel so bad uh, that Lulu attempts suicide because of this forced marriage. And it's so funny how Wura do not care about other people's emotion, their feeling and the rest. All she cares for is getting more money having her mind. Because even for the issue of having like, okay, she's sure she's going to get license to mine gold from the river. She would have not been like, all like she won't be all out to ensure that Lulu get married to Mandy. And I was actually very surprised when you know before this marriage and um thing actually come up, you know, Lulu was all like, I'm not going to do this until Adewale left and he decided to succumb to Wura's demand. I felt like no, this is not supposed to be like this. This should not end this place or this way. But I'm excited that the marriage is not really um happened and now it's now like so lulu's sexuality is now like an open secret because now um what's the name eve already told the father and now the father's reaction and the rest you know while i was watching there was like um a friend saw it and it was like oh he's so surprised that a nigerian father would be like this but i think i was able to understand that from this film ura is like the democratic one i say democratic she's like the um autocratic like the one who put who just put out demand and everything and everybody have to succumb to whatsoever she wants so that's like wura wura is the strong acid one she's the one who do not want to bend to other persons the role their, their condition and the rest it's just herself she sees herself alone why for the father the father is more considerable he's more of someone who really wants the children to speak up and just want to understand them and get to know them better and if you should understand that before now when they were having the issue with will he marry mandy or not the father had always pushed like okay what is like the real reason and the father is not someone who is just like all out he just wanted them to come and give him this information when they want to or when they are comfortable with because he was even suggesting like since Lulu do not want to push through this wedding they should just let the boy be because we were like oh was Mandy cheating and the rest so it was more rational unlike Wura who is just like no 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 it's just it's whatsoever she wants or nothing so it's so funny that it is like that so now the crazy thing again is Mandy still being around in this rest I feel like Mandy should just let this go and everything then how the mother-in-law you know there was this scene a big set of episodes we had this mother-in-law that is like Gura's mother-in-law and how she was so so crazy but coming to see how she's so understandable with everything i felt so surprised then let me just go back to the uh, the cooties and that's to me and the meiji's love story you know the meiji had always been there for to me and the rest and he had been very vocal about how he so much care for to me and you know earlier this season um before what's his name dimeji had the like the mind to actually speak up about how he feel for to me he had always been the like naive one he do like he was just always misbehaving and the rest but now he had like he could speak up and the rest and it's so glad that to me i feel like to me now not saying that dimeji is going like dimeji is going so the Meiji is now having, is now seeing someone else and probably with time, the Meiji will just forget about her now. She now has to go and push and 
actually push for what she wants. And I feel like that time she was not really paying so much attention to Timeshi because to discover if Bura and this other guy, if Bura and JJ were involved in the death of their father, and the um, affair she was having with JJ was just for her to achieve this dream. So coming like oh, looking God. forward to other episodes. I don't know probably if we will actually get back to normal, but I felt bad that this is actually happening. But you know, Wura is just and I don't know if I'm the only one who do not feel any sympathy for Wura and whatever she's going through because this woman had done more than enough. Like she had done so much and it's justifiable that she feel pain too. So this is all I'll be doing for Wura episode sixty-five to sixty. Eight. So, see you guys next week. Bye for now.